Welcome back my dear lightbulbs to another Yu Yu Hakusho discussion. If you're a new viewer to my channel, remember to subscribe so you become part of the lightbulb army. And also remember to enable notifications to never miss a video from me again. Now the like goal for this video, like every video, is 10 likes, so don't forget to hit the like button. Now in this discussion, I will be talking about the Dark Tournament arc in Yu Yu Hakusho. Well, previously I made a video on my channel talking about Hakusho and it was mostly negative because of the pacing and that's how I truly felt at the time and I still felt like that. Like the previous arc, which I believe is called the Spirit Detective arc, I did not enjoy as much. There was only some good episodes here and there, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the Dark Tournament arc, which a lot of Yu Yu Hakusho fans say this is the best arc in Shonen history. After watching the arc and after thinking of other arcs in anime, I do not think this is the best arc in Shonen history. That's just my personal opinion. You could obviously disagree with, but I thought it was a really good arc nevertheless. Now, this arc accomplishes many things, but before that, let's talk about what happened in the arc. So we had the preliminaries on the boat where Yusuke and his friends, they basically were, they thought they were VIP, they thought all the apparitions, the apparitions even themselves thought, oh, we're VIPs on this boat and we're special, but in reality, they were like the leftovers and only one team in that boat full of a lot of apparitions and Yusuke and his friends basically had to have a little tournament and see who would advance. So after Yusuke and his friends basically beat the apparitions, the apparitions are not happy and they're like the only way the team that is going to participate in the dark tournament is going to be the last people alive on the boat and Yusuke and his friends just, they just killed all the rest of the apparitions. Now, some of the really interesting things that happened in this arc was one thing I did not like Kuobara, right? Kuobara is a cool character, but I don't think throughout the series he has instant healing or anything like that because Kuobara, every time he got injured, I will see like, like, uh, for example, he fought the Tagoro brother and the Tagoro brother pierced Kuobara multiple times and his wounds, there's rips in his shirt and there's no wound there. It's like... It's I don't know what it animation mistakes or what but that that was really weird. Now one of the main things that happened in this arc was Yusuke and his friends and everybody training, which was really great. I love seeing training sequences in anime, no matter what they are. I love to see the characters train to become stronger, even though it was like it was like two days of training. To see that the characters actually had to train to become stronger because the adversaries, the apparitions that they were fighting, they were on another level. Yeah, especially Togoro. Togoro is a monster, which brings me to the point where Togoro, he forced Yusuke and basically everybody that's participating in the tournament um, to participate because Togoro told Yusuke, look, if you don't come to this tournament, everybody you care for, your family, everybody. He will kill them. And he displayed his strength by b basically collapsing a building with, I think it was around 70% of his power, something around there, or 50, 65, I don't remember clearly, but that was just really impressive. And at that point, Yusuke was so scared, like he knew he had to do this, or because if he backed out, that's it. He dies and his friends and family die as well. Everybody he cares about. So uh, the motive in participating in the Dark Tournament, it was basically forced upon Yusuke, which in turn made Yusuke, you know, even try harder because he wants to protect the ones he cares about, which is cool. Now, Yusuke is in the Dark Tournament with his friends, Kurama, Hiei, and, you know, the Masked Fighter, which turns out to be Genkai later on. And there's a love story. There's It's not even a love story. It's a com complicated history between... Genkai and Toguro and we find out that Toguro and Genkai were once a thing back in the day they were both human Toguro was a human as well and I could assume Toguro's brother was human as well and you know Toguro wanted immortality he did not want to grow old he wanted to you know just have immense power while Genkai when she was younger she did not want immortality she wanted to change she wanted to grow old with Toguro but Toguro did not get want to get weak and in one of the episodes Toguro even says like Look, I don't want to grow old and then get taken down by one of these weak, weak apparitions and stuff. So they had like a romance back in the day. And so Goro killed Genkai 
because he couldn't have Genkai. Well, the Genkai from the past where, when she was young and stuff. And Genkai grew old and Togoro was mad about that because Genkai rather chose her humanity over immortality and, and becoming a demon. Which, Togoro, I gotta say, I really like his character, Yu Yu Hakusho, from the start to be beginning. Because at the start, we, we didn't really know much about him. We just saw this cool guy with shades, really powerful. Um, and you could see his power was like increasing his muscle mass and things like that. And just becoming really strong. And even with that much muscle, he was still strong and fast and agile and durable, which was awesome. And then later through the series, we see that he starts having this connection with Yusuke, with Rameshi and it starts becoming kind of fond of Yusuke which even later on towards the end of this arc Genkai in the afterlife basically tells Togoro like oh I see Yusuke as my son and maybe you see him that way as well maybe Togoro did see Yusuke you know as a disciple not as a disciple you know but as a son figure to him because Togoro did have disciples then an apparition killed them and the ironic thing was after the dark tournament where togoro participated in the first time and he wished for you know immortality and stuff and to become a demon like the apparition that killed his disciples it was really weird that he chose that apparition um to become like a demon like the a apparition that was just really weird and that moment was the moment that togoro truly changed for the worse because seeing his disciples slaughter he put all of that blame upon him himself so togoro is not like a one-dimensional character togoro is a really deep character and i respect his character so much in the series because even after dying after battling yusuke um in the end in the finals he rather go to limbo than take another punishment another sentence like basically Koenma was trying to say okay you did a lot of bad things but you did good things as well because obviously Togoro was a spirit detective and Genkai uh, not Genkai <laughs> I said Genkai and Koenma was basically deciding what to do with Togoro and in the end Togoro just chose the worst punishment meant for himself just to be in limbo to just be a and, and limbo is like just a constant loop and that's why I really like this tournament arc, not just because of the fights, but because of the character progression for Togoro and to see Yusuke progress as well and to see the shock uh, of seeing a character like Yusuke to ha go through such shock to see his master Genkai die. And even if Yusuke made it in time before Togoro killed Genkai, he couldn't do anything at that moment in time, which was, that was just so sad. And to see... You know, use case emotions to show that he's actually a human that, you know, even though he he puts on this bad boy bravado and all that stuff, he actually really cared about Genkai. And that was just, that was just a really touching scene. And Genkai's death, she came back towards the end and I'm just like, okay, I, I did not agree with that truly when they brought her back towards the end. I think it, it was in the beginning of the next arc a little bit. And I was like, really? No, it was actually, I think, towards the end of this arc. Yeah, towards the end. I'm like, she died for a reason. Like, keep her dead. But it, it, it's all right. Genkai is back. So I'm not really going to cry much about that. Also, it was kind of funny. Kuwabara just kept losing his fights over and over again until he beat the Togoro brother. And the Togoro brother turned out to still be alive, which... I'm kind of scared to see what's the next villain and what are their... Well, their motives is obviously to carry on Togoro's plans and the uh, other guy. The, Togoro is basically a mastermind to open that big portal transportation from the spirit world. I know it was the demon world, I believe, it, to the human world. So, yeah, that was really interesting. Now, during this... Art Yusuke fought Togoro at 85%, which Yusuke didn't do anything to Goro when he was at 85 and then at, at 100%. And for Yusuke to awaken his true power within after he got Genkai's energy, he literally had to see Kuwabara die when, when Kuwabara was faking it. But it just shows, goes to show that Yusuke actually cared a lot about his friends, even Kuwabara, which he considers his best friend. So that was really cool. A lot of great fights um, in the tournament. It was awesome seeing Hiei's Darkness of the Dragon Flame. When he when he first did that, that attack, I was like, oh my gosh, that's so awesome. And I liked the attack even more because it actually put a, um, 
you use such a powerful attack and it comes with a drawback like the drawback you can't really use your arm as well as you did and that was so cool and then later on when he had trained and actually mastered the well not master well he actually did master the darkness flame attack and actually became the darkness of the dragon flame himself which i was like oh my gosh that's so awesome so seeing you um he ate, become that strong that was awesome to see then kurama's demon form it was awesome as well a lot of good things happen through this tournament and Jin, the Windmaster versus Urameshi was cool. So I don't want this video to be too long, too long winded. But you know, it's a discussion video. And lately, I'm trying, I'm striving for three videos a week on the channel, you know, the reviews and maybe one discussion based on a different anime or whatever and if you want me to talk about a certain anime if i watched it or manga then i'll definitely do a discussion every saturday i'll try i'll try but yeah the dark tournament arc if i were to rate it completely it was a really good arc a lot of character progression a lot of events happen and seeing the ending and seeing so much of the girl I, I was really happy with so i'll definitely give this arc a 9 out of 10 i hope you enjoyed this discussion and if you did remember to spirit gun and have a great day peace